just a little bit of the flavour of Australia for all you internationals. I thought I'd take the back way home. hill here. Like, there is a freeway that goes roughly the same amount of time, but uh, sometimes you got to take the back ways. And then you regret it. Oh, if anything, the, the road noise is slower. I think I better put this phone down. like I paid the price for the back roads and it wasn't the fact that they were very scenic or anything, there was lots of um, badly unrepaired sections of the road where you had to slow down to 40 and then suddenly the road juts up because there's a, a dip in the bitumen and then this thing here just launched a little bit. That one stayed but the rest of them sort of made a departure and came forward a little bit. Um, the good news is the whole system kept running and I knew nothing about it until I got home. So I really just have to remount it. I think just the, the thread of the screw on this foot had just, not this one, the one at the back, had just come out over time and then just it was just up to gravity for it to stay here. And yeah, this one little bunny hop <laughs> sent this, the other three feet up into the air basically. So that one held and kept it together. Um, so we're just going to unscrew this one because the other one's already decoupled itself and try and tilt it out and then uh, screw it all back together. Here we are, just moved the amp a bit forward. There's the inputs, speaker outputs. Trailer wire, seven channels, two runs. Um, anyway, back to the story. Here's one of the feet. You can see, it's just, it's either unscrewed itself out over time or the force of the jump just pulled it out of the I guess we're going to have to have a quick look at this one. It doesn't look great, does it? Might even be a little bit of the, the bolt that's still in the hole. And if that's the case, we'll probably have to find a different mounting technique altogether. Alright, I kind of got him out there. I've got a fair bit of playroom on that. Um, loom of leads. I've got it in here, twisted, turned, and I'm just having a quick squeeze, peering into this uh, little threaded area. It looks a little bit, um, oh no, it's a little bit, a little bit thread in there. I mean, it could just be a, the nut letting go plus in this hole, letting go at the same time, a bit of both. I can still see usable thread. I might just try a new bolt. I mean, that was a pretty severe jump. Um, wasn't like rally cross or anything. But yeah, severe for this kind of car on a road like that. Um, yeah, there was a there was another incident where there was a 
a bit of bitumen jutting out so high, um, nobody would drive over it normally, but I was overtaking. Um, and a car was coming, so I had to go over this bit of bitumen mountain as well. And that, that wasn't the jump, that was just a bottom scrape. You know, I just um, did some finger crossing and everything turned out right. I was just click the frame under the car because it just happens to be the lowest point. It sounded like it just took the top off that bitumen hill. That's another story. So yeah, no oil pan, no, no nothing. Pretty wild ride really when you think about it. I should have just taken the freeway. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So I've got two feet off the stand baseboard and we're just having a quick a zoom -y -y zoom I think yeah, new screw new screw and a thread and here is geez it's hard to say In a slight bit. Maybe that's a chunk. It's hard to tell with this grime. I don't know where the grime came from. Just the glue in the hole. Yeah, there's definitely a few flat bits. So we'll try a new bolt in the hole. I guess that's the next step. Neat, but it's obviously a different dimension at the end. Let's, let's get that other one. I was just doing a little bit of uh, B-roll on the back of this amp and I came up here and I said, hello there, what are you doing there, you fellow? Look at, look at him, look at him. That's uh, life on the road for non-road going equipment. You can just imagine what's happening on the inside. So I thought I'd get that glue inside the screw idea. Just done. Any kind of glue, better than nothing. Oops, there we go. A bit of it, just on the thread. Then, yeah, the no one can unscrew. It's because I'm a doof. There you go. Yeah, it might last more than 12 months this time. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, I'm gonna do the wiggle. Oh, she's a spinner. I guess we should uh, dot out the eyes and cross our teeth on this little thread in here. So. Yeah, this is the power input. AC power input. Yes. Yes, I'll quickly wrap up, wrap up this uh, feet flying amp saga. Uh, I just found the same kind of screw uh, bolt in my trove of spare bolts. The way to get lots of spare bolts is every time you're about to throw something out, you just pull it apart with the bolts and screws and stuff. Yeah, so here's a freshie. 
eventually you have to buy what you need as well. But it's good to have a random selection. So that's all spilled in nice from the first you know, quarter return, so I guess that was about at least four, four rotations, maybe three. And that's nice and snug now. And then this is the, this little thing that's hollow sits on a, a, another little pedestal on the main board and I also include this little polyester for extra springiness when this amp is actually touching the, the, the foot from the board but as you can see there's a lot of a screw compression on there pushing up against that and even on the pedestal there's another screw so in reality that it's only sitting on a very tightly compressed wad of this polyester, maybe not springing at all. No, better than nothing. So I'm going to put the similar size piece of MLV Asteroid Vinyl in there. That would probably take a little bit more squishing. Alright, car bunny hop protection complete. Screws on what needs to be. So, end of video. Go do something else, fellas. Ladies. Bye bye.